Thanks, Green. On immigration, we've talked to so many Border Patrol agents and leaders who are just really worried and anxious about the possibility of Title 42 ending next week. Big picture, what is the administration doing right now to get ready for that? So a couple of things that I want to lay out, and I kind of laid this out before, but um, I want to re reiterate it here is that um, uh, you know we're doing the work. We're going to do this in a safe and hu humane way, and we we'll, we will have more uh, to share on the proposed preparedness next week before the December twenty uh, first uh, date. But uh, look, we also need Congress to act. It is important uh, that they deliver the resources we requested for the border security and management. Uh, they need to pass the comprehensive immigration reform uh, that we have put forth. On day one, the president put forth a comprehensive uh, reform plan that dealt with protecting, uh, for, dream protecting for dreamers, cutting down uh, the asylum, uh, the asylum uh, buildup that we have been seeing, uh, especially because of what, what the last administration did. And they completely gutted the system. And we know that uh, this has been a, a multi-decade long problem. We need to modernize the system. And this is something that the President has put forth. And we are looking for uh, Congress to act. We are asking Congress to act. And so, uh, but in the meantime, what we have been able to do is the President, as I've mentioned before, has secured uh, historic funding. We have 23,000 uh, border security agents at the border. And that is the most amount that we've ever had. And that's because of what the President has been able to do. Uh, and we have worked to uh, you know, launch a historic anti-smuggling operations that are uh, taking thousands of smugglers off the streets. Uh, but look, the reality is we need Congress to take action. We need to do this in a bipartisan way, uh, as we have done, as the President has been able uh, to do more than 200 times during his administration. There's been some reporting out there that the administration is considering changes to the asylum policy, potentially making it so that only someone can, someone can only apply for asylum if they've already been denied from another country like Mexico. Is that true? Is the administration considering any changes to policy? So look, I know there's a lot of rumors out there about that, a lot of speculation. I don't have anything to announce at this time or from here at this time. Uh, what I would encourage people to do is to read uh, the Department of Homeland Security. They put out, they put forth a six-point uh, plan uh, on how they're going to move forward with dealing uh, with dealing uh, when uh, with dealing with the post December 21st uh, deadline when uh, Title 42 indeed lifts. Uh, but don't have anything more to announce about a. Any uh, any new plans from here? Okay. Thanks, Green. Um, DHS warned in a memo uh, obtained by CNN this week that the end of Title 42 will quote likely increase migration flows immediately into the U.S. So I'm wondering how many migrants are you expecting to try and cross into the U.S. through the southern border next week, and um, and, and is the administration prepared uh, for this anticipated surge? So look, you know, we have all, we have an intensive all of government effort. Uh, underway to prepare. Uh, as I was stating earlier uh, when I was being asked a question by Mary, uh, we'll have more to share uh, uh, ahead of the, 20, the December 21st deadline. But in the meantime, uh, DHS is surging resources to the border. Uh, as you've seen, uh, as you're probably seeing at, at, in El Paso, I talked a little bit about this on, on Monday, where, where over the pa last 72 hours, they've moved thousands of individuals out of, uh, out, out of the city. They're doubling down on the anti-smuggling -smug operations that the President launched month, month ago. Uh, they're also working with our international partners to discourage disorderly mass movements across the border. Moving forward, expect us to continue leaning in on our successful uh, strategies like these and like our parole program for Venezuela nationals, which has drastically reduced the number of Venezuelans attempting to enter unlawfully. And we'll continue to drive messaging in the region to counter disinformation from smugglers. So that's another thing uh, that we, you know, we have to keep an eye on is how the misinformation that's going to be going out to smugglers uh, in the next couple of days. And so we have to make sure we'll work together with all of you, our team will, to make sure that that doesn't happen because uh, that is one of the big issues that we're seeing when it comes to uh, migrants uh, trying to cross the border. Are you aware of this warning from DHS? And do you have an estimate of how many people you're expecting will try and cross the border when Title 42 Look, I over? don't have an estimate to share with you. What I can tell you is that the uh, Department of Homeland, uh, Homeland Security has put out 
uh, a six-point plan. As you all know, my uh, Secretary Mayorkas was at the border uh, just recently to talk about this plan, put out a statement. And so we are focused. Uh, we are focused and we are prepared. Uh, we will have more to share in the uh, next coming days uh, on this uh, on this piece. Uh, but again, uh, we have uh, we have done the work from this administration by securing record uh, record funding, and we are asking Congress for Congress to act. Uh, we are not we are not asking for political stunts. We're, we continue to see political stunts from uh, many Republicans out there, and that's not how we're going to fix uh, this issue. They want to uh, they want to uh, secure the border. We've been doing that work on our own. And uh, we ask, we're asking them to, hey, you know what? There's an immigration reform plan that the president put out on the first day. They should work with us and do this in a bipartisan way.